Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be making for you a Valentine's Day themed soap. Now, I didn't originally think it was going to be a Valentine's Day themed soap, but here we are. Um, this swirl technique is something that I kind of thought of, um, but I don't think it's really any different than a basic swirl technique. I just thought it was kind of cool and it's if, you, if you're familiar with my wood grain soap tutorial, you know that it's cut the same way as that. So I'm taking basically a technique of kind of a partial mod circle and then doing a swirl. So anyway, um, as far as the recipe is concerned, it's the same olive oil substituted recipe. And um, my fragrance in here is called Rainbow and it is from Nature's Garden Candles. I've worked with it before and it acts pretty well, so um, <clears throat> it would be perfect for that. All right, so what I've done here is just put in my lye into the oils and uh, it's reading probably around, it's like 87-ish degrees, and which is perfect temperature for this. Um, well, I think it's a good temperature to work with in general. But uh, for this particular recipe, I kind of wanted to get my batter a little thicker than what I'm usually working with, which is just getting it to emulsion. Um, I got it to about light trace here, but I probably should have gone with medium trace for this technique because the swirling itself relies on the fact that your uh, soap is a little thicker because when you swipe through, um, you're getting wispier swirls it's kind of hard to explain but um your get your uh your stick can only pull so far through so your color is a little bit wispier whereas in this since it's thinner um they just swirled like they normally would and in this case um so you can see i poured a bunch of white down the side there and now i'm going to start with my circles so i'm doing less red and more white so when I measured out my proportions, the red was, um, gosh, if I can even remember, I want to say I did a third red, so 10 ounces, and then the rest was just white. Um, so I'll do just like a little, a little dollop there of red, and then just kind of dump in some white. So you're getting that very defined contrast between each color. And uh, I'll just... Stop talking so you can watch just how these um, circles unfold. And this is kind of a modified mod circle. It's just going down one edge of the mold, not on all sides. All right, now that my uh, mold is finished, I'm taking two skewers and putting the blunt end together. And I'm just, I'm putting it all the way down to the bottom of the mold and I'm just doing random swirls. I have no rhyme or reason, no pattern. I am just swirling around, trying to be careful about not blending the colors too much because then I'll get too much pink in there and, uh, that's not what that's not the look I'm looking for but you can kind of see that in some areas it did blend pretty pretty much so that's kind of where the medium trace would come in handy 
for this because um, they their structure integrity stays intact and and it just yeah if you try this you'll know what I mean <laughs> just get it to medium trace and try it that way so um, I just pour my leftovers in my little molds and um, in uh, this recipe I didn't have a ton extra but uh, yeah I went ahead and swirled it in my little owl mold too just for a little pizzazz and uh, got my little bee mold and um, I did put it in that from my previous video where I tried to paint the bottom gold it didn't really wash out very well so I'm uh, putting it in that one as well and uh, it does end up coming out pretty pretty neat with the gold on there so maybe that's all it takes is just like a day of sitting there sitting at the bottom I use the same technique that I always do where I take my mold and I put it in my old crock pot and uh, it went through gel phase pretty easily so it's popping out of the mold really nice but there are some bubbles at the bottom and when that happens it just means it kind of got a little overheated but uh, you can always trim that off and it doesn't affect the end product but uh, here so again I need to cut this like wood grain and so I'm measuring out um, the two end pieces because I want seven and a half inches overall so I measure about a quarter inch on either side that way I can get you know some good samples and I can also get a good idea of like what um, kind of what it would look like if I cut it <laughs> the normal way so measuring two and a half inches wide and I'm going to cut off the end pieces All right, so see how the the flat surface there, you want to turn it to the side and cut it. So again, just like wood grain technique, um, we're cutting it a little bit differently. So that way you're, kind of, you're seeing the same pattern all throughout the soap. And it does kind of have some heart shaped, but here I'm going to just trim off the end too because of that, the bubbling. And then I do want to see more of the pattern. So, yep, turn to the side. And you can see, like, cutting it normally would, would not look right because it would just look smeary and kind of weird. So that is, I'll trim that off too. But, um, yeah, that's how you get, uh, <laughs> and I guess the closer to the bottom it was, it, it turns out that the, the pink and the, or pink, the white and the red kind of melded together and made the pink. So, um, it still looks pretty good, but uh, a less less defined than I wanted it to be. It still turned out pretty cool, though. Some of those areas where it's a little bit more wispy. But uh, here they all are, lined out. And you can definitely tell the difference between the top layer and uh, the cut ones. But uh, yeah, so here's the information for that, the color ratios and the fragrance. Here's the brick layout, but uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you have any questions about this one, um, just leave it in the comment below. And uh, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm just Ari Holding. I do a lot of book stuff on there too, but uh, that's that. So yeah, again, thanks for watching and I will catch you at the next one. Bye.